Hey guys, I'm Angel, and um, I don't blog too often, but I wanted to make a blog about uh, microblading and to tell you not to do it. <laughs> it's it's not good. Um, about five months ago, I got microbladed, and as you can tell, I grew my bangs out to cover it. Um, luckily, I did not do the whole eyebrow. All I did was this little part right here. And worst decision ever. It's just, it's not good. You know, it's just, uh, all I want was to, this eyebrow was a lot lower right here, and I wanted wanted it to match this. So I go in, I tell her I just want a few little wisps here, and instead she made a block, like a little square right here. It's terrible. And, um, Went back for the touch-ups and just made it darker. That's all she did. And now, five months later, it's starting to fade. And um, it's a little red right now because I've been trying a few products in it. And I found this brow gel that I just, you know, it's literally just hair gel. And I'm trying to just push my eyebrow, the what I had, up just to give it a little bit more coverage, I guess you can say. You know, because it's, it's not good. It's it's really not good. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your time. And um, and if you are going to do it, make sure you find somebody that actually knows what they're doing. You know, a co-worker of mine, she recommended this place. She worked there part-time. And she said, yeah, we do microblading. So I said, yeah, let's do it. You know, thinking it's going to be amazing. But it, it wasn't. <laughs> It's something that's going to be on my face for a really long time. They say it disappears after three years, but I have a feeling this is just going to be a splotch on my face. So, don't do it. I really recommend don't do it. But if you do do it, make sure you find somebody who knows what they're doing. Alright? Good luck. Don't do it.